Hello again, everybody. It's Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part three of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. In this session, we want to talk about how the timeline works. Because the timeline is where you're going to spend the vast majority of your editing here in Premiere Elements. It's where your clips become a movie. And how the clips behave on the timeline as you add or remove clips or portions of clips can be a little perplexing at first, but once you master it, very simple and intuitive. To add some clips to the timeline, let's just open up Project Assets. We added some clips already to Project Assets here in Session 2. I'm just going to drag a couple of clips down here to the timeline. We'll add one here to Video Track 2. Most of them I'm just going to add to Video Track 1. There we go. We can zoom in and out of our timeline, by the way, by going over here to the upper right of the timeline and using the slider, zoom in and out. There's also a fit button right here to the left. And when I click on that, it fits the entire timeline into one view here on the timeline. There are shortcuts for that on my keyboard. If I press the plus and minus key, I can zoom in and out. And if I press the backslash key, which is above the enter key or the return key on the keyboard, I view the entire movie in one view. To trim off the end, off either end of a clip on my timeline, all I need to do is hover my mouse over the end of that clip, as I'm doing here, and I get the trim indicator. And if I click and drag, I'll remove from the end of that clip. Now, I want to show you something. I'm going to close Project Assets. Look at the screen, the preview screen at the top of the panel here. And when I trim the clip, Notice that I get a preview of what the new ending will look like, or the new end of that clip. Same would be true if I were to take the clip that follows and trim from the beginning of it. I see a preview of what my new beginning will look like. Also notice something very important. When I trim away a clip, everything to the right of it slides left to fill in the gap. Likewise, if I were to extend the clip, everything to the right moves to the right. And this is called rippling. It's a very important principle here on the timeline. Timeline rippling is very intuitive, but a little bit perplexing. Notice when I add a clip or insert a clip to my timeline between two clips, it shoves everything off to the right. If I were to remove the clip, everything moves to the left. But what happens when I have a clip on a second track or I have music on my music track and I'm adding video to my timeline? What's happening to that clip? Well. When I insert a clip right here, notice that not only does it ripple everything off to the right on video track one, but it also splits the video on video track two. Now, mostly that's a good thing. I want my movie to move to the right as I'm adding video to the interior of my movie, and I want it to move to the left as I'm removing pieces from my movie. But sometimes I don't want to split what's on the other tracks when I do that. I'm going to Control Z or Command Z to undo that insert. To control that, all I need to do is hold down the Alt or Option key on the keyboard. Now, when I insert a clip, say right here on my timeline, when I let go, look what happened. It moved everything off to the right only on the track where I'm adding the clip. Everything else remains not split, okay? So it, it remains whole and nothing on any other track is rippling off to the right. That's Control Z or Command Z to undo that. Understanding rippling is really the key to the timeline. Once you understand how rippling works and how to control it, you're actually going to find it pretty intuitive. Finally, you can split a clip. You can cut it right down the middle. And notice when I have no clips selected on the timeline and I position the playhead, when I click the little scissors icon on the playhead, it slices through all the clips on all the tracks. That's Control Z. Command-Z to undo that. But if I have a clip selected on the timeline and then click on the scissors icon, notice that it only slices that clip. Just an important designation. Control-Z or Command-Z to undo that. Those are the key processes of the timeline. Trimming your clip, slicing your clip, and understanding how rippling works as you insert and remove video footage from your timeline. If you understand those, you're going to go a long way toward editing. That's about 90% of your editing right there, in fact. But those are the key moves. Now, in part four, we'll go a little deeper into editing. We'll learn how to add transitions to our movie as we continue to build out our timeline here in Premiere Elements. That will be coming up in part four of our eight-part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. Hope you'll join me for that.